Let's look at number nine. An object whose moment of inertia is four kilogram meters squared experiences the torque shown in the figure below. What is the object's angular velocity at t equal to three seconds? Assume it starts from rest. So the figure that's supposed to come with this, I guess it doesn't come with it. And so what I did is I figured out what the torque should be in order to give you this answer. So I guess in order to just, I know you're not turning this in, so just to make this an exercise, try to solve this with the torque being two over three. Units for torque are Newton meters. And with that, we should get the 0.5. So let's say you need the torque, starting with the problem with knowing the torque, then how would you solve this? Well, you'd say, okay, I have a moment of inertia, which we use capital I for, four kilogram meters squared. And it's, so this object experiences a torque and we wanna know what its angular velocity is at three seconds. So angular velocity, we use omega and we wanna know what it is at time equal to three seconds. We're assuming it starts from rest, so the initial angular velocity is gonna be zero. And these all have kinematic equations that are that have basically this exact same structure as the regular kinematic equations. And the way they connect is that the moment of inertia takes the place of the mass, the torque takes the place of a force, the angular acceleration takes the place of the regular acceleration, omega, which is the angular velocity, takes the place of the regular velocity, and the angle takes the place of the position. And so if I have these omegas, I have velocities, and I have a torque, which means that I'm going to have force to the mass, this is going to let me calculate A. And that's that relationship is also the same. So F equals MA becomes I equal, no, no, that's all right, torque equals I alpha. So because I have torque and moment of inertia, I can figure out what my angular acceleration is. It's torque over moment of inertia. And then in order to get this, what are we looking for? We're looking for, oh no, we're looking for torque. My bad. Yeah, we're looking for torque. I don't know, you're given torque. I'm confusing myself. We are looking for the angular velocity at time t equal to three seconds. So we use one of the kinematic equations and this one's actually pretty straightforward. It's gonna be this equation, which comes from this analog in the linear world. And instead of alpha, we can write tau over i this is zero. So tau is two over three. That's our torque. T is three seconds. <clears throat> and our moment of inertia is four. Oh, I weigh four. <clears throat> and we get 0.5. Just as an FYI, the little T that I'm writing for torque is a Greek letter tau, spelled like this, tau. And that's it. Thank you very much.